everybody, welcome back to Ableton Online, wrapping up Unit 4, lesson number 11, Hidden Features of Ableton Live. When I say hidden, you wouldn't know they're there, and there's only a couple of them, so it's going to be a quick lesson, but I felt you ought to know. So... Okay, so the first hidden feature in Ableton Live is the fact that you can write in BPM values into a scene name and Ableton will recognize that as an indication. See how that scene trigger play button changed color? Ableton will take that and run with it and recognize that that is you telling the program to change BPM, okay? So my global BPM right now is at 120. If I play scene two, it will stay at 120. If I jump to scene one though, watch the global BPM up here when I click scene one. Three, two, one. I could even go and make it ridiculous and go up to 130 here. Ultra fast, yeah. So that's hidden feature number one. If you wanna mess around with different tempos or you're composing a record in which the tempo should speed up over time, you could maybe have 120 here. I'm just gonna copy and tab that down. Have 121 here, maybe 122 here, and so on and so forth. Or you could go by twos, okay, depending on what BPM you're at, and it would be slightly noticeable, but not in your face, okay? So that's hidden feature number one. Oh, and Let's say we wrote this into our arrangement view here, okay? And I'm gonna wait for one more bar and hit it right now and Notice how the BPM went up. My global BPM went up. Shift three, getting ready to queue up scene three. It's gonna go up again. 122 in three, two, one. Cue it up now. And this is actually being written to my master track as we go. If I go back to one at 41. Back to 120 again, and I'm gonna use my tilde at the end within bar 48. Boom, 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 right there. So now, if I check my master track here, if I go and define the range as between maybe 120 to 125 you'll see these radical shifts in BPM, my song tempo down here, my master track. So you can see these radical shifts in BPM just based on what I've written into the scene here, okay? Another hidden feature of Ableton Live is that you not only have the ability to write in a custom BPM for each scene and Ableton will recognize that's what you want, but you can also specify a time signature change with each new scene, if you so chose, okay? So, for four, let's watch my Notice 
notice how it changed to 3 4. I'm about to go to 5 6. You're not going to really hear it, but the point is you could change your time signature globally. I guess it's not going to pick up 5 6. Let's try 2 4. 5 6 is kind of crazy. Picked up 2 4. Go back to 4 4. And there's nothing there. Ha! Four, four, no one. Three, two, one. So, a couple hidden features there for you in Ableton Live. A little ghost in the machine action there for you, some hidden features. I'll let you snoop around and see if you can find a few more. All right, guys, that about wraps up Unit 4, and with that, we wrap up Module 1. Thanks for sticking with us. Hope it's been an exciting time and that you really have sunk your teeth into Ableton and you're really starting to love this program and starting to make some great music. Remember, everyone, let that knowledge sink in by completing the included exercise for this unit and please do yourself a favor and get a BPC for this unit, a bespoke private critique to make sure you're on the right track, you're picking up all the concepts and to make sure you answer each and every question you have on your mind. Well, that about does it folks. Thanks again. We're excited to see you soon in module two.